Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. This is Don's Graphics here. In today's tutorial, we are designing a beauty or a cosmetic art flyer for social media. So I'm just going to delete this one to start from afresh so you guys can see how I did that. So here we are. I'm going to delete this text also for obvious reasons. We don't need it. Then the next thing is to proceed to your background and start preparing the background. So uh, the design size is just a square size 1280 by 1280. I will not bother to check on the size. So let's change the background color to this uh, light or what I can call a lemon kind of green. Let me show you the color code in case you want to replicate the same color. It's uh, A0 double F A A. That is the color code for this, All right? So, after achieving this, the next thing we are going to do right now is to draw. I know the draw option or the draw tool in Pixel App is being avoided by many people, but uh, don't worry, I will take you through that. It's very simple. So, click on the draw button, which is here. Now, increase the pen size and increase the smoothness completely to 100% and also increase the blur radius. Now neatly place your finger just across the screen okay and uh, just draw a line on the screen no problem then you can uh, proceed to click on this check mark and you have this. So the next thing that we are going to do is to pinch it from here and also from here to make it uh, elongated. So we can increase this and also bring it down like this, as you can see, right? I want to use a section of this. So that's why you see us making it longer. So now go to your color option and let's change this color to dark green. Now make a copy of this. Actually, I want this to be broad enough so we can copy this and place it on top of the first one. All right, then we make a copy of it again and rotate it a bit to place it here. Then make a copy also, rotate it. So let me bring it down so you can see exactly uh, what we are doing and also place it here nicely. Okay, so the idea is to have a darker green color on this downer section of our design. So after achieving all of that, go to layer and make a copy of the first uh, draw shape, draw shape that we have. You can position it, uh, just rotate it so nicely and position it on the upper section of our design. After achieving all of this, go to layer and you can now lock this up. So lock everything up and the next thing we are going to do is to introduce a white uh, shadow effect on the background. So go to shape, select gradient and let's create this gradient. Then let's swap this color and bring it closer here. So we have this and I'm going to change the color to pure white. Okay. Then neatly just size this up. Okay. Let's just size this up to make it big enough so we can place it here. All right. You can make a copy of it also and place it. So I want this extreme to be very much white. Then go to layer and lock this up. So after achieving this, the next thing we're going to do is to import uh, one other important element. So here is it. We're just going to size this up to cover the entire background and send it to back. And let's reduce the opacity a bit. So you can now see that it has blended successfully with the background. And go to layer and let's lock everything up. After putting all of this, the next thing you want to do is to import the image of uh, the lady, this model. So crop this out. 
neatly and we are going to blend this image also down with uh, the background so let's first of all let's go to our eraser tool let's increase the eraser size and the blurness then starting from below we're going to erase neatly until a certain point then we click on the check mark now uh, I just want us to rotate this so go back to crop click on crop and rotate this to the left then you can position it neatly like this so we have rotated it by using this button and now what I'm going to do is to increase it a little bit in size then I position it here let's go now to layer and shift it to the back so I'm shifting it to the back of these white elements that we created here all right so let's leave that for that we can even reduce it a bit in size position it neatly like this good layer and lock it up so guys please subscribe to the channel for yet more other amazing tutorials thank you so much all right so after achieving this we're going to bring in the um the skincare product which is this and I'm going to rotate this increase it a little bit in size and position it like so okay then one thing that I'm going to do here is to copy this then go to opacity reduce the opacity to just about 15 and uh, let's go to shadow and give it a shadow and then let's click on the plus button and reduce the shadow effect a bit then neatly bring it on top of this go to layer and send it to the back of the first element then use your position button to shift it neatly so that the shadow can cast on the background or it can fall as I will put it okay perfect that achieved we're going to go to layer and lock everything up so the next thing we're going to do is to bring in the I have some leaf elements with me here that I will love us to use first of all I'm going to bring this then I crop out this section and I'm going to rotate it neatly position it here then I go to my color filters and uh, adjust it a bit then let's make a copy of that and uh, also rotate it like so then we position it neatly right down here now we're going to copy this and uh, reduce it in size then we rotate it neatly and uh, position it on top of the first one now you can go to layer and lock all of this now after achieving all of this let's go bring in the last uh, element so i'm going to crop this like so then i'm going to rotate it all right then we'll position it here go to layer and send it to the back of the body care product or the skin care product then we can reduce this in size
okay good so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to write skin then let's go to text uh, the font the text color it should be pure green this dark green we are using the dark green please kindly subscribe to the channel for more than amazing tutorials so i'm going to go now and use a particular nice font here called the radley italic font and right now i'm going to increase this in size then we place it neatly here so make a copy of this text right Okay, so the full skin care, all right. So, um, if you look night carefully here, you will notice that uh, this element is not blending well with the background. So, we're going to the image of the person is not blending well with the background. So, we're going to copy this blood or this um gradients that we created. Remember, this is it here. What I'm going to do is to bring it much more closer now to the image. Alright, so we're going to position it here. And now you can see that the image is now blending well with the background. So we're going to lock this up also. Okay, so all of this is just how creative you can be. Let's set the text, all of the text above. Okay, good. So we have skincare. And um, I'm going to shift this a little bit. The right and this also all right so um this other leaf element let's see what we can do let's try to shift it down so as you design you always need to bring in some adjustments where necessary okay so we're going to go to text and write 50% discount 50 percentage discount remember this should be in capital letters then we change the color the dark green color and the font we are using is uh, the next heavy font but then we're going to reduce this in size a bit and using position button we shift it like so then neatly go to new text and write so it's 60 percent discount 50 percent discount on all our skincare products remember it a social media ad flyer so you it's a flyer that we're going to be using on instagram and other social media handles for promotion sake so we're going to change this color now to dark green also but then we go to font and i'm using rocks what sounds light so I want this text to be the right. So let's lock this element. All other elements must be locked. Okay, so we're going to bring this text right now below this. Then we make it smaller. So it's a 50-60% discount on all our skincare products. And usually you might have um, maybe the product description and all of that. So I've just decided to use a quote here. Since this is just a template, but then your clients will always give you the product description or like a description of 
the body care products, the application methods, and all of those uh, essential marketing information. Uh, for now, I'm just using uh, these quotes as a sample. So I'm going to go to the font area and I'm using Roxford Sans Light Steel for this text. And um, let's reduce the size of the text. into this ah, but I did not even read the quote there let's just read the quote it might be interesting so the quote is our greatest weakness lies in giving up the most certain way to succeed is always to try just once more like I said this is just um, an illustrative quote okay so uh, you can replace that with the marketing information that will be provided to you by your client all right, so right now I'm going to copy this text once again, but before I copy it, let me just shift it up a bit. Then let's copy it and write uh, shop now. Shop now. Shop now, okay? It's very important. And what I'm going to do is to leave it like that, but go to my shape. Um, select a square shape let's make it take a rectangle first of all reduce the opacity completely and increase the radius let's say to about 13 then now uh, let's create the shape so we can increase the, uh, the radius again by up to 40 then increase the opacity now completely and uh, let's go change the color to the dark green and what we're going to do we're going to send it to the back of the text but now we change the text color to white so let's change that shop now to have a white color and let's reduce it in size a bit then use your position button to make sure it's properly aligned okay so we have shop now now the last element we are going to include in order to conclude this um, beautiful design is to bring in one of these leaf element that is really blurred so I have it here I'm just going to crop it out subscribe to the channel check the video description for the link to get all of these resources okay so um let's just rotate this and increase it in size a bit then we can place it here okay good so with this um we can see it's a wrap you are done with your design on the skincare uh, or cosmetic art flyer design for social media thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel i will see you in our next tutorial